Hi there, whiskey lovers. This is Mark from WhiskeyWhistle.com bringing you review number six. I'm moving along quite uh, promptly, I guess. Uh, with us today, uh, the Macallan uh, from, well, is it from Speyside? Is it from the Highlands region? Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. This is a uh, single malt scotch. Uh, so uh, back into the swing of things with scotch. Uh, I hope to do some other spirits now and again, but so far uh, it's been just uh, whiskey, hasn't it, from Scotland. Uh, anyway, uh, what have we got here? Uh, this is a gift box uh, that is available here in Korea, uh, put out by the uh, Erdrington Group. That's the group that um, uh, owns uh, uh, the Macallan brand. And uh, I saw this uh, at, uh, oddly enough, at a 7-Eleven here. And uh, the price was good. It was 95,000 won. Uh, so roughly, uh, I don't know, about $80, I suppose. And um, quite a little find. So we're going to have a look at that together. Um, <clears throat> now, uh, let's uh, first talk a little bit about, um, about the Macallan. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, uh, this uh, distillery is uh, from, the, the uh, I guess, the town of... Uh, Craigellachie in Moray, uh, and um, <clears throat> uh, it, uh, there's a manor, uh, an old manor that's associated with this brand, and that's called, uh, I believe, Easter Elchi Manor, uh, or Estate, and uh, hopefully that's the correct pronunciation, but um, anyway, uh, which uh, to them, to the, to the Macallan, is their spiritual home. Uh, now, I mentioned uh, about the region, well, interestingly enough, uh, on the bottle, which we'll look at in a minute, uh, it states that um, uh, it is a Highland uh, malt. However, um, uh, I think they, they uh, have traditionally been associated with the Speyside region. In 2009, I guess there was some uh, change in, in, in the, uh, maybe the boundaries or, or whatnot. And uh, anyway... Uh, uh, since then, they have been known as a Highland uh, uh, single malt whiskey. Uh, they are touted as having the smallest stills in Speyside. Uh, I've got a picture of the stills there. Uh, not a great picture to show you how, how, sh how small they are, uh, although they look like they are actually, in fact, quite small. Probably about, um, uh, about the size of a, maybe a medium redwood tree trunk. Uh, and uh, maybe, I don't think it's much more than about uh, maybe two and a half meters tall. Uh, so quite short uh, in, that, uh, in that sense. Um, uh, I mentioned uh, that they were uh, a, subsidi a subsidiary of the uh, Erdington Group, uh, and they have um, uh, held that brand since 1999. Um, uh, as far as uh, uh, this particular uh, single malt, uh, it is uh, one of the top three, uh, both uh, in, I believe, volume and possibly the uh, uh, number two or number one in terms of um, uh, dollars of sales. Uh, according to, uh, 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 to Wikipedia, uh, I should have looked at their source, but um, 2009, 500 cases a year. Uh, 2011, 700 cases a year, and uh, well, if we extrapolate it, about a 5% uh, growth, although I believe last year they had a 10% growth in turnover, uh, so we're probably looking at uh, 900,000 cases, uh, if not a million. It's hard to find the exact number. Um, anyway, uh, big, big brand. Uh, with uh, uh, their world, world, world renowned. Uh, so rest assured, this is a, a top drawer, top quality, top shelf uh, single malt whiskey. Um, now, uh, uh, this particular um, brand has traditionally been associated with uh, sherry. Uh, what's the relationship? Well, um, uh, whiskey is stored in a cask for uh, a certain number of years, minimum of three years, as I've mentioned before. Uh, and uh, these casks, um, well, they could be um, uh, fresh casks. In other words, 
absolutely fresh wood. Traditionally though, they are either bourbon, bourbon casks, ex-bourbon casks, uh, or ex-sherry casks. Uh, so, uh, in fact, uh, traditionally the Macallan has uh, aged their spirit in uh, sherry casks from uh, Jerez in uh, Spain. And Jerez, uh, interestingly enough, uh, is where we get the word sherry from. Sherry, the spelling in English for that particular city, J-E-R-E-Z, Jerez, kind of sounds a little bit like sherry, so somehow there's a link there. Uh, and uh, uh, the wood, however, is actually American oak. So there's a link back to uh, the um, uh, bourbon cask, because those are all obviously American oak. Um, anyway, now uh, what else to be said about this? Um, I mentioned about the region. Uh, so it looks as though the, the, the term Speyside cannot be used for uh, the word of Craigellachie. Uh, so hence, now they're known as a Highlands uh, single malt. Um, currently produced bottles of the Macallan indicated as a Highland single malt. Um, and as I mentioned, the Macallan stills are still, are known as the smallest in Speyside. So, uh, anyway, uh, quite interesting. Uh, we're going to have a look at this box and, uh, I want to tell you about it. Uh, I've got a, a, a picture of what, what's inside there. So I'm going to pull up my photos here. Um, where are we? Hmm. All right, well, we'll have a look at that together, okay? <clears throat> so I'll just read the, the front of this for you. Uh, the Macallan Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 12 years old, exclusively matured in selected sherry oak casks from Jerez, Spain. Distilled and bottled by the Macallan Distillers Limited. Easter Elkies, Craigellachie, Scotland. I'll let you have a good look at that box. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, and uh, I'm going to open it for you just so you can get a, a view of uh, uh, the interesting packaging. And uh, again, it's quite reasonably priced, so I was very happy to, uh, to get this one. So there it opens. And, uh, and then inside you've got a little bit of information here. Pop that open. Okay, so I'll get let you have a good look at that. So in there you've got um, uh, a nice hard cardboard, looks kind of like a, a place setting. You could put the bottle on there and uh, uh, in your glass. Okay, um, so there we have it. Now there's a mix of English and Korean there. As again, this is from the uh, uh, Airdrington group here in Korea. So I'll read this to you. Uh, the Macallan 12 Sherry Oak. Uh, color, and I'm going to read this in Korean and then I'll tell you what it says. Uh, Richie Gold, uh, which, uh, as you may guess, rich gold. Uh, nose. Jinjoga Sautak Kyotrojin Panilla. Malin Kwail Talkoman Sheriwa Ude Hunyan. Okay, so in English, uh, slightly gingered vanilla, uh, dried fruits, sweet sherry, and uh, wood smoke. Okay, uh, palate, the palate, the taste. Hunyanhan udua, hangshinyoro kunyang tapin pudropko. Pungsongan Balin Kwailwa Sheri. So again, the uh, um, smoky wood uh, and uh, spice and um, what was Kunyang? Uh, ha, I forget. Uh, and uh, okay. Uh, oh, balanced, that's right. Balanced uh, 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 softness and richness. Uh, with dried fruits and sherry, as it is uh, sherry casks. Okay, and the finish. Talkoman topiwa malin kwail hunyanan udwa hangshinyo. Okay, so sweet toffee, dried fruits, 
uh, smoky wood and, uh, or wood smoke rather, well, smoky wood, uh, and spice, okay? And then we have uh, uh, a little note here about the six pillars. Uh, the six pillars, I guess, uh, that's the uh, kind of like the motto of, um, uh, of the brand. Uh, this is what they believe is the essence of uh, the Macallan. Um, <clears throat> okay, and it mentions the spiritual home of uh, 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 Easter Elkis. El uh, Elkis, okay, not Elchis, but Elkis. Uh, Easter Elkis house. Uh, the uh, here it says, um, let's see, Changin Tong Shine Sangjing, Easter Elchi House. Easter El Elkis House. Anyway, Easter Elkis House. Um, the spiritual home of, the spiritual essence of. Uh, and uh, uh, the curiously small stills is the next of uh, the six pillars. Tantongsik Soyang Chingyugi. And then we see uh, uh, the uh, uh, quality sherry casks, the top quality sherry casks. Chegogup Sherry Oak Tong. Okay, and uh, and then it's got a, uh, some scissors, and that says uh, 16 Shimyuke. Uh, Chesangi Tunyu Wanek. So Wanek, uh, that's the um, uh, the uh, new make. Uh, so uh, this brand is known for uh, only taking 16%, the finest 16% cut uh, of the new make that comes out, uh, which is called the head. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, natural color. Sunsu Tanyan Seksang. Okay, so that's telling us this is natural color, but we'll talk a little more about that. Uh, and then finally, Ton Sege Single Malte Kijun. So uh, the peerless single malt, peerless whiskey, uh, whiskey without peer. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna let you have a look at that. Quite quite interesting. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, inside, you've got uh, the standard bottle, the 700 milliliter at 40%, and you've got a miniature, a 5 uh, centiliter or 50 milliliter uh, bottle, which ha actually has a cork and, uh, and a glass, a Glencairn glass uh, with the Macallan, uh, I believe it's etched on there. Uh, anyway, I'll set that there and uh, we'll get started here. So there's the bottle, which I have uh, tasted a few times, and the miniature. I'm going to set that there to the side, and um, the Glen Cairn glass. I did clean this, so I was going to air that out a little bit. It kind of smells a little bit like the box. <clears throat> okay, so color-wise, rich gold, I would agree. Now. Uh, Natural color is what it says. Uh, I wish it would say that on the label. I recognize that that's one of the six pillars, but uh, boy, it would be nice if that were actually on the label. Um, okay, and uh, we'll have to continue that one. Uh, okay, uh, on the back here, what does it say? Our unfaltering obsession with select, uh, selecting exception, exceptional oak casks and distilling sublime spirit brings an unsurpassed, timeless quality to the Macallan. Distilled at the Macallan Distillery in Speyside, Scotland, this legendary single malt is exclusively matured in selected sherry oak casks from Jerez, Spain, for a minimum of 12 years. This results in a satisfyingly rich, and complex single malt. Okay, <clears throat> there's the bottle. And let's pour some. Now again, it's 40%. It would sure be nice if it were 46, uh, even 43 would be good. Oh, there's a lid from the other one. And um, 
Well, again, if it were also non-chill filtered, would also be a wonderful thing for this brand. Um, uh, but uh, that's how things were, are for that entry level uh, of um, uh, of Scotch whiskies, single malt Scotch whiskies. Yes, quite a uh, well rich gold. We'll call that an amber, uh, likely. Well, amber plus one or two, I would say. Okay. Uh, I do hope that is a natural color. That would be uh, a real great thing, but yeah, it'd be nice to see it on the label. Let's uh, check out the nose. And um, so the sherry casks, you're getting you know, all kinds of dried fruits, dried raisins. Um, kind of a, actually, a fre oh, there's also a fresh apple scent in there. Um, the wood spice vanilla uh, ginger yeah there's something slightly gingers there so they're quite honest with the uh, the nose information uh, in the uh, in, uh, in the box there that's uh, good to know it is quite nice to smell and um, uh, as it's 40 percent you don't get a real strong uh, waft of alcohol uh, although you might if you're using, um, uh, you know, some sort of a uh, tumbler or a lowball glass. Very nice. Uh, let's taste it. I'm tasting some spice. A little bit of cinnamon. In fact, if you, um, you know, when you when you pour, you always get a little bit, a little drip there. And I find if I, if I taste that, it's very similar to uh, sticking your finger in, um, in ginger and putting it on uh, ginger in cinnamon and putting it on your tongue, maybe with a little bit of ginger mixed in. Um, uh, the wood influence is quite strong. Uh, they are using uh, very excellent casks, uh, so that's great, and. Um, uh, those fr fruity flavors are there, so uh, there's kind of a mix mixture of raisins, uh, perhaps dates, a um, uh, little bit of an orange flavor as well. So apple in the nose, a little bit of orange uh, or orange peel, uh, candied orange peel in the um, in, uh, in the taste. Um, in the finish, you do get a little bit of that uh, smoky wood. It's not that really smoky, but um, let's just say it is a wonderful oaky finish full of vanilla um, and I can still taste that um, slightly cinnamon like uh, flavor uh, so quite nice uh, I will add just a drop of water to see how that does just a little let's see what happens with that let it mix up a little bit And I find, again, you know, when you add a bit of water, the oak recedes, and I'm getting a lot of candy, sweet candy flavors. And um, uh, if you're familiar with um, uh, varieties of candy, it's kind of like a wine gum, wine gums, or uh, maybe the Haribo, um, uh, gummy worms <laughs> anyway wine gums I think is better because it's got a little bit of a uh, uh, grape uh, raisin sort of flavor in there mm-hmm quite nice And with water, the flavor gets a lot spicier. Probably better to give it a bit of time. <clears throat> um, and a lot more raisin. Um, not the golden raisins, but the dark, dark, dark raisins. Um, sun made in California.
start to finish, this is a great, great uh, single malt Scotch whiskey. Fantastic. Behind it, I have one that's been sitting for a while. Just want to see how that differs. And with no water, it's sitting for a while. You can get a lot of spice um, from the, uh, uh, the American oak. The um, dried fruit has kind of receded a little bit. So spice to the front. And um, yeah, and that candy note is um, uh, already present. So yeah, this does well with a bit of time in the glass before you uh, drink it. Um, something slightly, hmm, a bit of basil, a basil note in there. So savory mint mixture uh anyway i'm very happy with uh, uh the mccallan uh the only negative thing is uh the um it should be presented at a higher strength uh without chill filtration uh this would then get uh well into the 90s um as it is uh, i'm going to give this 87 points out of 100 um I hope they keep this. It looks as though the Macallan is trying to put in more uh, non-age non statement uh, whiskeys. Uh, let's hope they keep that. It's also one of their traditional 100% uh, uh, sherry oak aged uh, whiskeys. Uh, so go out, go out and get a bottle of that one. You will not be disappointed. And um, thanks for tuning in uh, to the Koreans watching. Uh, look out for this box uh, in 7-Eleven. Um, I saw one uh, near Kanguk University. And, uh, well, with um, Korean Thanksgiving coming up, that could be a great gift uh, for your dad or your father-in-law. Okay? Thanks, everyone. Mark again from Whiskey Whistle. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. Goodbye.